Hello everyone and happy Mother's Day. I'm Clarence Reynolds. And I'm Crystal Candy. It's great to be back with you to share all the fun and exciting events that are happening this week. We're going to head over to the Orlando Museum of Art where I had a chance to dig through a whole lot of things there with some of the exhibits that you'll love seeing. Take a look. seems like every time I come here, there's something new, but there are some permanent ex exhibitions here. Yeah, yeah, so we do have traveling exhibitions throughout the year, but we're really proud of our permanent collection that features contemporary art, traditional style paintings, those types of things. We also have a great contemporary graphics ex exhibition that's on view all the time. Uh, famous prints from artists like Andy Warhol and Lichtenstein, so really famous artists that people know. Uh, we also have a great uh, abstract exhibition that features some sculpture and kind of more creative outside the box works and then we also have a collection of artifacts from the ancient Americas that's on view so there's really something for everybody at the museum. When you say something for everybody I always think about like young artists and I mean really young like summer camps and things like that. Yeah so throughout the year we offer a lot of great programs uh, for art lovers of all ages we do our summer camps winter art camp and a spring art camp that's available for kids. Uh, we also have our annual big events, our fundraisers with Council of 101, Art in Bloom, and then also the Festival of Trees uh, at the, around the holidays, which are great fun for the entire family. All right, and the thing I know you're, you know I'm gonna ask about, and that is the gift shop. Yes, oh my gosh, <laughs> our shop is my favorite. We have free parking open uh, every day that the museum's open, Tuesday through Sunday. Great collection of just unique gifts, and, and again, just something for everybody on your list. Best gift shop ever. I'm kidding. <laughs> so uh, what else can people expect when they come here? If they've never been here, um, what other things would you so, say? I'd say what we offer is a really unique experience. You know, it's not too much. It's not overwhelming. There's just enough to kind of feed that artistic side of everybody, and it's really approachable and just easy to appreciate what we have here. Marie, thank you so much. Make sure that you take advantage of the Orlando Museum of Art because it makes living in Orlando one of the best things ever. When you consider that that is anything on display at the Orlando Museum of Art is just a fraction of their actual collection. Oh. So it's always changing. They're always bringing new things out and acquisitions. So it's always something new. It'd be a good place to, number one, take your mother for Mother's Day. Mm. Or you've always told me that the gift go shop Go to the gift great. shop. <laughs> you cannot go wrong. It's <laughs> I amazing. Love it. it really is. One of the best gift shops I've ever seen. Yeah. Anyway. The Healthy Start Coalition of Orange County presents its 2024 annual celebration of motherhood charity breakfast on May 10th at Lou Gardens at 9 a.m. Healthy Start is a free home visiting program that provides care, coordination, and educational classes such as breastfeeding, childbirth, women and infant support classes, and mental health counselors to pregnant women and families with children under the age of three. The goal of Healthy Start is to lower risk factors associated with preterm birth, low birth weight, infant mortality, and poor developmental outcomes. Visit HealthyStartOrange.org for tickets and to learn more about the program. Opera Orlando goes back on the town and concludes its all for art season with a dark retelling of Grimm's The Juniper Tree, a contemporary chamber opera by composers Philip Glass and Robert Moran. This tale is about a jealous and scheming stepmother who murders her stepson and serves him up in a stew to his unsuspecting father, only to then be killed herself by the stepson who is reincarnated as a beautiful bird. The show takes place at the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts on May 10th at 7.30 p.m. For tickets, go to drphillipscenter.org. You might want to eat after oh my God. the performance. <laughs> 
With a mission to support young musicians in achieving excellence and inspiring their communities through music, the Florida Symphony Youth Orchestra's 67th Jazz Finale Concert will take place on May 11th at First United Methodist Church in downtown Orlando. The symphony's talented ensembles will pay homage to the many facets of jazz music with big band, modern, and classic jazz melodies while showcasing their improvisational chops. And during this memorable evening, they'll also announce the 2024 scholarship recipients. The show starts at 3 p.m. Go to FSYO.org for tickets and more info. Learn about colorful chemistry, flashy physics, and splattacular science at this year's MessFest at the Orlando Science Center. Kids will learn through activities, demonstrations, and live shows that will definitely be messy. And when they say messy, they mean messy, so be sure to dress for the mess. This event takes place on May 11th and 12th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and it's included with general admission to the Science Center and it's free to annual members. Go to osc.org for more information. We are joined by Justin Machoni from CFC Arts to tell us about all of the great things happening around Central Florida. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you're not wrong about all of the things. We've got our, our, our creativity kind of going in every possible aspect of our community. And right we're going to get to that. I want for people who may be new to Central Florida, what is CFC Arts? So the shortest version is Central, Central Florida Community Arts, let me try that, uh, exists to build and serve community. So through the arts, um, like a lot of people, I didn't grow up here in Florida. I moved here from somewhere else. And the first thing I realized when I got to Florida is it was hard for me to find a place to feel like I belonged, to put down roots, to see that sense of community and connection. So we use singing and dance and theater and playing instruments to give people a place to come every week, a place to belong, a place to connect with those around them. We serve students as young as, uh, as pre-K all the way through seniors in the early stages of Alzheimer's uh, with programming that allows them to connect to one another and really feel like Central Florida is their home. We also happen to put on incredible concerts and great shows and do summer camps and other programming, but the, the real goal is to make people feel like this is somewhere they could call home. It's working. That's good uh, to my know. personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we see the CFC Arts like logo on all kinds of things. So, give us an idea of like what kinds of like was there an event that recently happened that was a CFC Arts sponsored event? Sure. So we partner with a lot of organizations across town. Um, the most recent big event that we did was a huge uh, choir concert. So our our organization started with a community choir, a bunch of people who wanted to get together and sing. It is now a 315 member community choir, the largest choir in the country right here. We do two or three major concerts a year, um, reaching thousands of patrons. We expanded from there. We have uh, the largest orchestra in the country, the largest symphony orchestra in the country, about 215 musicians. They've got some concerts coming up, so you may have seen them out in the community. We have an incredible jazz band, big band that goes out and plays in the community. And then a big chunk of our work that's really visible in other aspects of our community is through what we call our School of Arts and Health. So we have a theater troupe for young adults with Down syndrome and autism and other exceptionalities. We're doing work with local healthcare systems. We, are, we have two full-time board certified music therapists on staff that are doing therapy in the community. So you see us popping up in a lot of different places and if it's about bringing people together or using the arts to, uh, to make life a little bit better, we're probably, a, we're probably a part of it somewhere. This is very interesting because, you know, when people hear, you hear that whine, there's nothing to do in Orlando, there's plenty to do here. Yes. So if somebody is looking for their thing, they like instrumental music, for instance, they like, mm -hmm. they want to hear an orchestra. Mm -hmm. So how do they find out what's happening with CFC Arts? I mean, there's lots of great calendars that exist out there. The easiest way is cfcarts.com. Check out our website. CFCArts.com slash events has the full listing of things that we're producing. There's also ways to get involved, to volunteer, to become a member. Everyone that is in our programs is just a volunteer member of our community. They could be your neighbor, they could be your doctor. They're brilliantly talented, but they're just volunteering. And our rehearsals are open to everyone year round. We do not audition. We do not turn you away for financial reasons or otherwise. If you say, it's been 40 years since I've picked up my saxophone, but I feel like I should do that again sometime, 
check us out. CFSarts.com, find a rehearsal, come sit in. I it's that no accessible. Idea. Absolutely. So you can actually, if you have a, a, a talent that's been, you know, sitting around that mm -hmm. you haven't used in a while, you can actually get involved in some of these things. Absolutely. So not only can you buy a ticket to come see a show, but you can sign up to come be a part of our ensemble. And we, we do everything we can to remove the barriers, uh, be it cost or, or accessibility. We want you to be able to be involved. We have a lot of people, we have people who have degrees in music, people who have studied it, people who have taught it. We have a lot of you know, teachers from the local school districts that are involved. And then we have a lot of folks who loved music when they were in school. And then they got out of school and they started a career and they had a family and life got busy and they put aside the things that made them feel whole. And then the kids are out of the house or they retire and they look around and go, well now what do I do with my time? Get that instrument back out again. Even if it has been decades, most of our orchestra members took years if not decades off and we're their opportunity to just get back to feeling like themselves again. You know, I sound like a broken record, but this <laughs> is one of the reasons why this is a great place to live. That, see, in a nutshell, that's what we're going for. Uh, I know for me, as somebody who moved here and was looking for those reasons, I'm happy to be a part of creating that for other people who are trying to call this home. And that's really the goal. The goal is that everybody can look around and go, I belong here here in Central Florida. I fit here. There's a place for me to contribute here. And I want to call this home. And that's, that's the goal. Justin, thank you so much. You, you learn something, you're excited about stuff. And, and of course, when you see the CFC Arts logo, you know what you can do, not just be a participant, not just be a, a viewer of the great arts, but a participant as well. Absolutely, we hope to see you both places. Come sit in the audience, watch a show, come join us on stage. CFCArts.com has all the details. Excellent, thank you so much. Thank you. The beloved and classic children's story, The Wind in the Willows, is hopping off the page and onto the stage in a brand new world premiere adaptation. Based on Kenneth Graham's well-loved books, this whimsical show follows jovial Mr. Toad, kind-hearted mole, confident otter, charming rat, wise badger, and others through their adventures in the wild woods. As spring approaches, the fun-loving Mr. Toad drags his furry friends into all kinds of mischief. Shows take place May 10th through the 12th at Central Florida Community Arts Black Box Theater. For tickets and showtimes, go to cfcarts.com. The Garden Theater in Winter Garden presents Always Patsy Cline. This is more than a tribute to the legendary country singer who died tragically at age 30 in a plane crash in 1963. The show is based on a true story about Klein's friendship with a fan, fan from Houston, in fact. Her name was Louise Seeger. Seeger befriended the star in Texas in 1961 and continued a correspondence with Klein until her death. The musical includes many of Patsy's unforgettable hits, such as Crazy, I Fall to Pieces, and Sweet Dreams. The show runs now through May 19th. For tickets and showtimes, visit gardentheater.org. The Creality School of Art presents the creative concept of Vincent Sansone from now until May 25th. This exhibition is a retrospective of Sansone's contributions to the ceramics and exhibition programs at Creality. He joined the Creality faculty in the mid-1970s, shortly after the school opened, and served as its ceramic studio and program manager until 2022. He's known for his two- and three-dimensional cartoon characters, which have inspired many local and regional artists. For exhibition dates and times, go to creality.org. So there's a lot of things to do out there if you don't have plans for Mother's oh, Day. Yeah. Because I know the restaurants are always packed because moms don't want to cook, cook on Mother's right. Day. I get it. <laughs> and art and music, so there's a little bit of everything. So. Yeah, whatever your mom is into, yeah. be good to her. But yeah. yeah, maybe entertain her, do something fun. Or just leave her alone. They like that, too. Quiet. Thank you. <laughs> that is my gift. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, that wraps up this week of events. And if you have one that you'd like to share with us for next month, send us an email at cafe at ocfl.net. I'm Clarence Reynolds. And I'm Crystal Candy. Remember to join us next week to see what's new and exciting in your community.